Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos since your updates. Put Dukubo in his appropriate pigeonhole. He is a jail bed. Traditional Bula in that state. That's the army. Oh yes, that's what's happening now. That's the mayor of Urobo land. Yes, he's also an ex-militant leader in the Nigeria region. Talking about Eshanekbe is uh, popularly called Akodoro. Yes, he has called on the security agencies, particularly the military, to take the threats to shoot down military plans issued by the leader of the defunct Nigeria Volunteer Force, that's Mujahid Asai de Kubo Lokwashos, seriously saying threaten, threatening him with kid gloves will encourage and embolden other miscreants to talk some ignoble line. That's according to him. I said, it's ignoble line. Now, Akodoro said that he should be treated as a scapegoat for his attempt to undermine the power of this Nigerian state. He said this at a well-attended stakeholders forum in Abuja, saying, Dukubo has always been a recalcitrant militant who did not drop weapons at the declaration of the presidential amnesty program, saying the military, Nigerian military owes it a duty to protect the integrity and sovereignty of the nation at all costs. He said the Nigerian army should go after the Kubo, who he said is not different from the notorious bloodthirsty bandit, Belo Toji, who has army of terrorists gathered against the state. Of course, he recorded the Kubo in a now viral video are threatening to bring down a suspended military plan, allegedly hovering around his settlement. A statement the mayor considered a threat to national security and calculated attempt to undermine the nation's security architecture, saying, quote, nobody let alone Dukubo is bigger than the Nigerian state, and for such reckless threats, the military should go after him. Oh, yes. Now, Podoro noted that Dokubo overreached himself and has chosen to challenge the national might and should be immediately put in his appropriate pigeonhole by the Nigerian army. He insisted that the that Lukwasho Dokubo should be reined in to tell the world where his armory and weapons against the state are kept, saying the threat he issued goes beyond mere flippancy and he, as he called on all the security agencies in the country to ensure no monster is allowed to rear his ugly head in the Niger Delta region. Look at his full statement, quote, We are not oblivious of the threats posed by the Kobo in the region, but let it be on record that I unequivocally state that arresting on neutralizing the Kobo should be done seamlessly. He has no followers other than the scanty ragtag miscreants he weaponized for crimes and criminalities that he recently paraded. On a show of force months ago, while our military played the ostrich. The silence of the security agencies towards such confrontational disposition by non state actors had reasons. There is preponderance of crimes. In our climb, Tompolo has been in the forefront of building and fostering peace in the region and also expeditiously carried out his mandate to eliminate oil theft in the Nigerian waterways, describing him as one of the most gentle, reticent, reserved and patriotic to the Nigerian state. The Kobo should go for tutorials from our respected GOC who is not given to flippancy and recklessness. Heavens will not fall if the Kobo is arrested and neutralized in the battlefield, where the army should he carry out his threat of downing military players. The use of Nigeria intelligence have embraced peace and all queue behind the GOC. But certainly, whoever chooses to confront the military does so at his own peril. A jailbird like Dokobo should not pose any threat to a military institution. He boasts of his power to overrun the military, and he should be properly handled. End of quote. Now, this is the full statement from the mayor. Yes, yes, this is what he's saying. This is uh, mayor in Ugeli. Okay? Ugeli. Ugeli. He's saying, look. Said the military should go after Dokubo. 
in the battlefield if you know let him be neutralized that's what he said he said let them confront him and neutralize him if need be he saying he's causing nuisance he's causing trouble in the Niger Delta, he said, he said, Jailbird said they should put him in an appropriate pigeonhole. Yes? That's what he said. He said, he's a monster. He said, that is it. He said, the loquacious Dukubo should be treated like, you know, like a monster. He said, the military should confront him. He said, this issue of playing ostrich while the man is threatening the country, threatening the security, architecture said it's not something to be entertained. He's encouraging the military to go all out to chase him, to apprehend him. Say so he has nothing than the ragtag followers that he weaponized. You've seen it. So that is what is happening. He's challenging the army, the chief of army staff, to go after the Kubo and deal decisively with him. Yes, he said he's still parading his weapons when he said he has Resigned for militancy. Oh yes, but he's still carrying at carrying arms and ammunition. You seen it? So that is what is happening. Yes, that is it. The 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 uh, the, the, the the northerners they are in the Niger, you know, you know, scooping the oil. Yes, drilling the oil. Exploring the oil, enjoying it, and they use the military, the army, to go to that place and subdue them. Yes, they use the army to subdue them while scooping their oil. Only recently they gave them thirteen percent diversion. Yes, whereas they're supposed to control their resources. And he's saying the army, they should come and do this. You see it? So the point is that the man who is at the center of this Buha, Dokobo, the man is loquacious, like he said, Seraktag, the situation of the mayor said, he's just a jailbird. He said he's supposed to be put in an appropriate pigeon hole. All the things he said about Dokobo is right. Correct. Yes, all the things he said about him is correct. And that is the point. He is supposed to be put in the appropriate pigeon hole. Supposed to be dealt with. Oh yes. But the point is that those who are going to do, do, deal with him, who are there, the same Nigerian army, that are in the Niger Delta, yes, suppressing the people, holding them, so that the northerners will continue to drain the oil. Yes, scoop oil in the Niger Delta, Niger Delta and be enjoying it. Oh yes. So that he wants to go after Tokobo. But it's still okay. Yes. Let both both Tokobo and the Nigerian army. Yes. Let them confront each other. Let's see it. Let them confront each other. Let them confront each other. We want to see it. Let the military confront him. Let him confront the military. Yes. He's actually challenging the military. The government, the authority. Oh, yes. And the military shouldn't tolerate such things if they think that they are potent. Because if it's in the southeast, we know what they have been what they would have been doing by now. They will not tolerate it. Yes. So and Dukubo who oh, is in his Ijo Creek. Threatening is being allowed to, you know, to enjoy the freedom and liberty and saying, oh, they are laughing over it. The military said they are laughing, they are laughing over it. So the traditional said, stop laughing over it. Do something. Confront him. And look about confront them as well. Let's see in the, let's see in the battlefield if they will neutralize him or the, the, the military will be neutralized. It's doing a challenge for the Kubo to confront the military and for the military to confront Dukubo as well. Let there be a battlefield. That's what the tradition is saying.